is everything, and it's like grilling burgers from the outside world, and it's definitely looks isn't good. But there are some of them are really disturbing, disgusting, expensive, and fuck around these words for this legacy. However, some of them are rare. Like really rare. And hello there, lamb choppers. Gordon Ramsay of YouTube here, and today let's count down for our top 10 bizarre legacies from all over the world. So let's get started then, shall we? So at number 10, we have the Animal Pizzle, known as the Old English word for penis. And I don't call that disgusting, despite it's the number 10 spot of our list. And it's been used since 1523 in make it ass tools. And I'm not joking, guys, it's literally the main ingredient for the glue, and it's really common these days. Not only that, it can be also used as consumption, like soup, medicine, and pet treat, and it helps you a lot. In fact, even the Chinese at least used Scottish deer pistols in the 2008 Summer Olympics and it boosts their stamina so fast that you can't even stop running. And since everyone's hungry, spicy penises anyone? At number 9, we have the Kachur Haukar. Known as Iceland's natural food, the Kachur Haukar has been served for the Vikings for years and is consisting of a green land shark meat with poison, as well as its strong rich ammonia smell for cleaning, like bleach, and also has a fishy taste. And why is this so disgusting? It's because of its rotted putrid smell and it has decomposed for months without having bugs feasting the meat itself. And after months, it's ready to serve. And for first timers around, be sure to bring an alcoholic drink called Brennevin, just in case if you taste that meat. Because the smell is too intense in the taste, and that's why you gotta need it before you go on a trip to Iceland. <laughs> And at number 8, we have the turtle soup. Well, looks like you about to get shell-shocked by the soup right there. And in fact, it's been common in every regional country, such as the shop shell turtle from Singapore and the snapping turtle from the United States, which it's particularly in Philadelphia cuisines and some sour United States cuisines. And I know this delicacy looks content to eat, especially when you're in New Orleans. Not only that, there's even a big boat in the bayou where you can sit and relax in whatsoever. However, you're gonna need to be extremely careful. The bayou is the home to every animal there. Like this cross Crocodile, and no boy is hungry. But speaking of hungry, the taste of the turtle soup looks savory and a combination of fishy and beefy. And like I said, hungry, right? Number seven is the bird's nest soup. Okay, is the bird's nest edible? We well, got that right. In Asian countries, of course, most likely are the swifts are responsible for creating their nests using with their saliva to solidify it. And it has been used in cooking for over 400 years. And not only that, it also uses cosmetic too. And they have claimed that it promotes good health for your skin. And I think I believe in that, especially they always fight for it. But not always because of this, it's because of their high nutritional value and its exquisite flavor. And it's definitely priced for most of them, if you're hungry. At number 6, we have insects and worms. Well, you got that right. And that's what you call animal packing, meaning eating insects and shit. And it's not actually that bad, especially eating candy out of scorpions in it. And boy, that's one good old Alexi right here. And it's been used as food for generations. Don't believe me? It became a popular food from all over the world, like Latin America, Africa, Asia, and Oceania. Which America got their attention, and its companies are trying to introduce insects into the Western diets. And not only that, it can be also used for survival. And even sometimes people suggested that animal package should be considered as a solution to environmental pollution. And it's a good thing. And at number 5, we have the Kazu Marzu. Go cheese with maggots feasting? Well, I'll be fine with it. Especially, I eat a lot of cheese. But you won't actually gonna like it when there's insects and shit. Originated back from Sardinia, Italy, the Kazu Marzu is one of the most disgusting cheeses of all in Europe alone. And it's consisting of a plain pecorino cheese, meaning goat cheese in Italian. And not only that, it's fermented and sopped too. And it's been remained and declared traditional ever since back in Europe's days. And plus, while eating this delicacy, it will not gonna kill you, despite that the maggots can only consume dead organisms. But better make sure, you should crush it while eating it, if you're entomophobic. At number 4, we have the Ikizukuri. Okay now, Ria Japan? Now that's what you call animal cruelty right there. And it literally suffers the animal while serving on a plate. And it needs water for Christ's sake. Not only that, it needs to be freed from its own delicacy. And it kills it. 
but I know it's very concerning and it's not normal to eat such raw and live creatures from the sea. But that's also very controversial too. Especially it's been outlawed by two countries such as Germany and Australia. And that's a good thing because you know, it's obvious. But speaking of obvious, the Japanese word itself is obvious, which it's translated to preparing a live or just serving it alive. And that's obvious for those who knows Japanese. And I really can't stand of this repugnance. You know what I mean. Number three is fried tarantulas. Oh boy, arachnophobia these days. And this is why I like to make this list from this video. And it's kind of look bizarre, but at least the spires are cooked to death. And it's a regional delicacy in Skol, Cambodia, where they serve it for the tourists passing through the town. And I know it's really crazy, right? But hey, food is food. But the taste of it, it described as bland rather than the combination between fried chicken and roast cod. But at least they're better than the Katsura cod that I mentioned in number 9. Cause it smells better than ammonia. Number 2 is Century Egg. Also known as the Millennium Egg, the Century Egg is widely known for its green yolk and its dark jelly egg white. And it's originated back in China, and by the way it preserves, the traditional one is more dirtier than its modern times. Which they preserved by coating it with mud, rice gas, and even horse piss instead of wrapping it in the plastic to begin its aging process. With a mixture of table salt, calcium hydroxide, and sodium carbonate for an exact 10 days, and to be followed by several weeks, as I said before, while wrapping it in the plastic and the taste it tastes just like a regular bland boiled egg and while the smell of it it's not that strong but it's ammonic with a combination of pickled garlic mixed with charcoal extinguished to ashes and despite the word millennium or century itself it only preserved it for months and no wonder it turns just like this and number one we have the balut Okay, the number one spot of our list, and it kind of freaks me out with this egg. In fact, you can find both Cambodia and the Philippines if you want to eat this dead, veiny, skinny baby duck or a chick inside of this egg. It looks badass, and not only that, it also faced controversy due to the religious, animal welfare, and human health concerns, which it's crazy because it's obvious, and plus the taste of it, it tastes just like a regular bird meat. And it's not a big of a deal if you need to close your eyes and eat it, and that way you'll be fine with it, especially in fetal cannibalism in China. And oh boy, they tried something new. And that's my list. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy, and fuck, that's gross. It's a good thing I ended it. And oh boy. Whew. And hey, like this video if you really like it. Type down your comment for your opinions and subscribe for more to be uploaded. And guys, if you follow these three steps that I said before, then Gordon Ramsay will knock on your door saying your food is shit. <laughs> but seriously guys, thank you so much. Stay safe and to you.